Hey guys, so in today's video, I am going to be walking you through your first water change. If you haven't ever done one before, if you need a refresher, you know. But basically, people do water changes on their aquariums to kind of maintain the tank, I guess. It helps keep the water parameters decent and it ensures that your fish isn't living in dirty water without having to clean the entire tank and getting rid of the beneficial bacteria in it. So the water change itself is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to be walking through it with you guys just to make sure y'all know the gist of it. It's pretty simple, but yeah. Also, before we get started, I want to mention why my tank looks so gross at the moment, but I was gone, I was gone for a week and a half, so I missed a water change. And I do have growth tablets for the plants in the water right now, or underneath the gravel, and that's created an algae bloom. There's too much nutrients in the water, and it's kind of messing me up, but I think I'll handle it and it'll be fine, so yeah. Okay, so to do a water change, you will need a bucket. You technically can use something smaller than a bucket, but your life is gonna be a lot easier if you just use a bucket. Um, a siphon, again, you don't really need a siphon, but it's gonna be easier if you do have one. A siphon is basically something that you use to clean up the gravel without having to shovel the gravel out of the tank. And you can buy one of these at most pet stores. I'll have everything linked below so you can go buy them yourself, but yeah. You will also need water conditioner so you can refill your tank with water that's safe for fish. This basically just neutralizes the water so the chemicals from your tap water won't affect your fish. You will also need a toothbrush that's never been used on a human or a sponge or paper towel. Pretty much anything that can be used to scrub the walls of your tank or your decor that doesn't have any soap in it because soap is actually really bad for fish. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start out by doing is kind of cleaning up the tank itself, going to be scrubbing the walls of the tank, trimming the plants a bit, and kind of cleaning up, I guess, because as you can see, it looks kind of nasty. And when you're doing this, you can unplug and turn off all your stuff if you want, and by stuff, I just mean your filter and your heater and your lights. I'm personally not going to be doing that. The lights help me see what I'm doing, and... I'm not emptying the tank, so I'm not gonna turn off the filter and heater. So I'm just going in with my clean sponge and at first I'm gonna be getting the walls of the tank. And when you're doing stuff like this, you can also remove your beta from the tank if your beta does cause problems or if you think your beta will cause problems while you're doing your water change. But this guy has proven to be pretty mellow, so I'm not super worried about him being in here. But I have had betas that like to chase all of my supplies throughout the tank and I don't want them getting hurt so I tend to remove them. So now I'm going in with a toothbrush, like I said, that's never been used on humans and I am going to scrub the rocks and do my best to gently scrub some of the leaves. And now I'm just going to be trimming some of the leaves that are completely dead because I want to encourage regrowth. So now that I have done some basic maintenance on the tank, I'm going to go in with my siphon and my bucket and start vacuuming out the gravel and trying to get as much gunk out of the tank as I can without removing more than 25% of the water because that is what this water change is, isn't it? And while you're doing this, you need to be extra careful that your beta isn't going to get in the way. Like I said, if you're worried about it, then you should remove your fish. And that is how much water you should remove. No more than that. This might even be more than 25%. Like I said, you don't remove more than 25 because you're doing everything in your power to keep all the beneficial bacteria in the tank to ensure that your fish is gonna be healthy. A little hard to see here, but now I have a bucket of clean room temperature water. It's a little bit warmer than room temp. Just cause beta fish are tropical fish, they need warm water, we know this. And now I'm gonna be adding some Stress Coat Plus by API, which is just a brand of water conditioner to the bucket to ensure that the tank is filled with water that is gonna be safe for the beta like I keep on mentioning. It says it removes chlorine and chloramines and heavy metals from your tap water. So 
Some people like to let this clean water sit for a couple minutes before they add it to the tank just to ensure that the dechlor is fully mixed in and everything is safe. And I'm also going to be adding this little uh, tree stump decoration just to give him some more cover, but this isn't a part of the water change. So yeah, now that everything's finished, now would be the time that you'd add your, add your beta back in if you took him out, or turn all of your appliances back on, get your things set up again. That probably seemed like a lot, but it actually isn't, and this needs to be done every single week. So it's good to get into the routine of it. I've been doing it for a long time. I could probably do it with my eyes closed if I'm being honest. But yeah, that's the whole process. Hopefully this video made sense and was helpful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Maybe check out some of my other videos. I took a little break, but I'm back and gonna be uploading every week. So yeah, thank you all so much for being a part of my channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.